Hello, I want to talk about mistakes I made building and planning my CNC router. The biggest problem was lack of planning. My plans look at like this. And then I just build and plan only one step ahead. So there are many mistakes to fix. I start with XS problems. They just support the rails, but I mount them upside down and bearings what I use is of course cheapest ones, so there's only three rows of balls, and when they are upside down, they work only on one row. I made it like this because I want to protect rails from dust, but no chips are falling almost directly on bearing and it's nothing good at all. My lead screw nut mount solution is bad, and the screw don't move really and get stuck sometimes. Because of stacking lead screw, I made this bell drive system. It's 1 to 2 gear ratio, so I trade speed for torque. I drilled bolts by hand, so gears are not centered, and I can tension belts correctly. Unsupported Y axis rails bend too easy, so totally need to change to supported rails. I made these supports, it's a little better now, but overall, everything is a disaster anyway. And here on Z-axis I got this masterpiece of engineering. I started with this treated rod, but as with other drive nuts I had problem with proper mounting, so I made this belt system. Somehow it does its job, but when I hit stop button, it just falls down and drill everything on its way. Next problem is I don't have base frame and it's bending in the middle. I need to put some cross beams to get some support and also make table more stable. I have plan to update my CNC router with limit switches, drag chains, spindle control, dust collection and maybe remake all frame from extruded aluminium profiles. So please feel free to leave a comment if you have some suggestions. And thank you for watching.